Millions dream of being in show business and only a few of us even try. But despite the odds, I'm going to. I have to try. Martinez. I'm studying at the Randolph Academy in Toronto. We learn to sing, dance, and act. If you can do all three, you're what's called a triple threat. This is the beginning of our last term. We're preparing to leave school and start our careers. My priority right now is to find an agent. Stretch three, stretch four. Wrap the body and contract on five. I make it a point to tell students in the very beginning that this is not a place where you're trying to find out who it is or what it is you want to be. You have to know that you want to be in this profession. This is a two-year program, it's very intense. It's been referred to as a theater boot camp, but the bottom line is to get a job at the end of the day. Crystal definitely has the potential of becoming a triple threat performer. I mean, she is strong in her singing, her acting, and her dancing. The way that she has been progressing since day one, if she continues that rate, she's a strong candidate, without a doubt. You don't have a clue. I knew that I loved singing and that no matter what I did with my life, music would be a part of it. In a very unusual way, you were my friend. I started singing in front of audiences when I was about four or five. I started just singing in weddings, and being four or five, I'm like, okay, you know, sure. The positive energy that I got back after performing, it got me, it grabbed me, and I was like, yeah, I want to do this. First of all, welcome back to your sixth and final term. <laughs> there's a lot that is in this term for you and there's a lot that you come to this term with that should allow you to feel pretty good about yourselves. Now I know that you're heading out into that real world. It can be terrifying. You're going to get the pressure cooker effect, which means you're going to get people exploding at the craziest of times and doing the craziest things. I'm going to urge you, please, try to inject the real nature of what theater's about, and that's the collective ensemble. You guys have the talent, you've got the ability, and I want to see you take advantage of that. Let's make it work. Have a great term, guys. There's a certain panic when you enter the school, and there's also a certain panic when you're, you know, you're about to leave the school. One count, drop over on one. To make it to the sixth term, you need perseverance. You're gonna to have to want it. You have to believe in yourself. When you hit sixth term, it's like our pride and joy, but you have to talk to them, bring that morale up, because they know it's getting down to the wire, meaning that in two months, they're going to graduate, face the world. The cord is going to be broken. We all work hard. We all have our own situations. We all had our tough times. And I know because, you know, we would talk and we would share, you know, each other's problems. And I'd have some friends who'd be like, oh, I'm gonna drop out. I'm like, no, you have to, come on, we're almost done, you know? Your last year, we just have shows to do. I think that if you are prepared and you've worked hard, but something just isn't working, well, it isn't working, that's why you're here. As long as we have a compromise that we can all come and just fall on our faces. Just as long as everybody knows they can just come in here, just, you know, do their thing. Do their thing and if they fall, they fall. Yeah. If they don't, they don't. Doesn't mean they suck, doesn't mean they're a bad person, just means we're in school and this is where we're, we're, we're allowed to do that. I agree, everyone probably yeah. concurs with that. As the single male here, Tyson, what would you want? <laughs> Other males? Yeah. <laughs> <Good start. laughs> no, it's, uh, I think it's pretty good so far. Like the girls have, uh, they've been good to me. I guess they realize that there's not that much testosterone around, and they like, uh, they're pretty supportive. Good. They help me out. Good. I need someone, or I will die. What are you trying to do? Take her life away from her? 
when I told my classmates, we were in movement class, and it was one of those classes where at the very beginning you tell one another how your week was. So when it came to my turn, I, I shocked them basically. And then I'm like, I'm pregnant. And then it was dead silent. And some people were like about to cry. Some people were just like shocked. And then I said to them, you know, I really need all of your support. I'm planning to finish school the moment before telling my teachers. That was definitely probably one of the toughest days. You know, I was bawling because I didn't know what to do. And I confided in some of the teachers and they told me that, you know, it's okay to be a parent, a single, you know, a single mother and be in this business, you know, it's just going to be harder, which, you know, I knew was going to be the case. Of course, it's not going to be easy. The showcase. My idea was to showcase not only what the school does, but most importantly, to showcase each one of you. And that would be for directors, agents, casting agents. And George and I are going to work on personally bringing in people we know in the industry to see you guys in the simplest of settings with you showcased. Oh, we stole it. I, might, uh, yeah. I do need, yeah. but that's, you don't want to do slow, that's all. Yeah. Okay, so, okay. No, it's do safer it. to stay on the ground. But sometimes where danger lies, they're the sweetest. Do it one more time. She says, um, what's wrong with wanting more? Someone who says that is obviously thinking, some people do think it's wrong. In fact, in the original, I mean, in the story of Yentl, Everything she's doing is wrong. Look within the, lyrically to see how the song is about motivating herself to go where she doesn't, hasn't been before and other women haven't gone. Each step I take, Papa, I'm a voice now. Each page I turn, Papa, I've a choice now. Each mile I travel only means the more I have to go. He's in my cells, he's in my blood, he's in my DNA. <laughs> he is a part of me, and I could feel him being gouged out. Bam! Blink. I usually choose stuff like that. That's got an emotional <laughs> drive. <laughs> what you don't know about women. What you don't know about women. You think what I don't know will not hurt me. But you don't know how should a woman who is healthy and strong flubber like a baby if her man goes away at Vivian and the villain how he's done her from from first year to third year you grow up you know you learn a lot about yourself and of course, having Jonah being responsible for another person. I mean, I can't just think of myself anymore. You Going out there on your own and only having to worry about yourself is completely different than coming home to a child and having to like give yourself to him after a long day at work. Okay. Oh. He's really not in a good mood. <laughs> it's gonna be like that, you know. In, in the future too, you know, I'll be exhausted, I'll come home and I have to, I'll have to, you know, have that extra energy so that I can play with my son, take care of my son. Now, uh, what I've done is I've, all 16 of you, I've given you characters, okay? And please help me out by being that person the minute you step on that stage. So that, I, when, so that when it comes to the choreography, which sometimes we war against, right? Trying to put choreography and acting together, I don't have to ask you how your character would do this because you're already thinking about it. Nothing fancy, nothing fancy, nothing fancy. Bum, 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 bum.
God. And, uh, okay. She so is the ultimate triple threat. <laughs> she she puts her whole heart and soul into her work. Just watching her, you know, like mm, mm, like all the little sounds she makes. She's like she's like Janet Jackson's choreographer, like mm, ga, ga, or whatever. <laughs> she does all those kind of things. So that was cool, you know. And I was just like, wow, she's amazing. They are like sponges. They just soak it up. I think that we feed each other. The energy that I bring to them, they sort of give back to me because they're so willing to be better, you know, become stronger, more talented in, in sort of all of the areas. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. When I started down the street last Sunday, feeling mighty low and kind of mean, suddenly a voice said, go forth. Neighbor, I keep wanting to say daddy. Spread the picture, what? Spread the picture on a wider screen. Spread the picture on a wider screen. Yeah, what? <laughs> Spread the picture on just wider screen. The street last Sunday, feeling mighty low and kind of mean. Suddenly a voice said, go forth, neighbors. Spread the picture on a wider screen. <laughs> That's good, Chris. Right there. Six, five, six. The show cases tomorrow, and I'm a little nervous. Um, I really hope there are agents there. I I want to be seen, and hopefully, what I have in the showcase will be enough for them to see what I can do, and we'll just see how it goes. Yeah. So how are we gonna make this happen? Yeah. Okay. How about we just do from the end of the show into the bows again? Yeah. Yeah. Are you guys feeling okay? Yeah. yeah. Good. A lot of times it's difficult to get agents out and casting directors out, especially in a school, quote, situation. We don't expect to get that agent right away. You know, as far as getting that first break, it might be two years, it might be three years. I would not be able to get these people here if they didn't feel that there was something worth coming to. I have never had this kind of response before. 12 out of 14, they'll be spreading, some of them tonight, some of them tomorrow night. I just wanted you to know that, okay? So. Have a good one. Enjoy yourselves Thank because you. I'm enjoying what I'm watching. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. Well, hopefully, you know, we each have something where we can shine, and then hopefully the agents will see that, and, you know, maybe we have a chance. Maybe they don't have, like, for example, an Asian on the roster, and they might approach me, you know what I'm saying? So, fingers crossed. We'll see. Just breathe and do what you got to do, you know? I think it's a little stress. It's got to relax. <laughs> it's a little stress. Moments of craziness. Oh, and now I'm hot. It's, it's weird. It's the mozzarella sticks, man. Sorry. I like it. I like it. I like it. It's like beautiful. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. There we go. Hi, Jessica. Hi. 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 Oh my God. I wonder how many agents are here. Oh. No, but today though. Oh. Pick me. Pick me. <laughs> Primarily when we go to see a performance, uh, we sort of keep our vision open. Um, we're not necessarily looking to sign the lead performers. We look at the whole ensemble. I'm gonna look for uh, performers that jump off the stage. I'm gonna look for performers that are unusual or different. If someone obviously is a triple threat that's ideal but not everybody is if if they've got a great voice and they're they're stunning then my goal would be to help them get to broadway if they were really really good like the hot midnight Oh yeah, God is my husband a Stop it! Stop it! 
I think I was showcased. I think it went well. I mean, the audience seemed to enjoy it, and three agents gave me a call, so. Thank God it's over! <laughs> it feels really good. <laughs> To have all these agents, thanks to Ron, uh, come see us and, and have like three of them actually interested in me, you know, gives me hope that I can have representation and I can go out there and do more and more auditions. So it's good, it's a good feeling. <laughs> I have no idea how much of this music you want, <laughs> but I sure, sure want to come. Part one, you said, you you said to go from the beginning of part one? Uh, all right, let's do part one. Everybody take electric pistols. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks guys. I'm off to see an agent. <laughs> a little nervous. Whipped cream's like dripping all over my dress. Mm. What time is it? Ah! Do you think we'll get there on time? We have like seven minutes. She'll probably talk about, you know, her company and I'll ask them, you know, typical things like how many people are on the roster and how many Asians they have. And I mean, again, they're going to be working for you, so I have to see whether I like them, right? I mean, just because they have a good reputation, I also have to see like how I feel about the person that I'm meeting, because it's going to be almost like a bond, almost like a friendship, because you know you're depending on them, and they're kind of depending on you because you know you are their business. Heart's pumping a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> she was basically telling me that it would be really hard for me to work in the business because of my look and of my age and of my gender and of my ethnic background and all these negative negative things. She goes, you know, I get the feeling you're, you're really talented, but talent's not really going to get you anywhere in film and TV. And she kind of made fun of the fact that I had a son, which offended me. <laughs> so. You know, I was like, whoa, you know, don't, don't go there. <laughs> you don't know me kind of thing. It wasn't what I expected. I, I didn't think they would be that negative. You wanted to talk to me here. Yeah. Um, well, I went to see in this agency. They kind of looked at my picture, which by the way, they said, uh, quote unquote, who took this, your boyfriend? And oh I'm like, God. no, it's, it, I know it's not professional, but I wasn't planning, you know, I obviously once I join an agency, I'll get professional pictures done. I had mentioned to them that I had a son. With an agent, I think they should know that I have a child, because obviously that's yeah, an important no, no, of course. part yeah. of my life. And Absolutely. they basically told me that, you know, having a child would hinder me from working. And I'm like, well, there are a lot of working actors out there who have children and can work in this business. So I was definitely, I was basically discouraged in every aspect possible. This is not going to be the first time, unfortunately, that you meet someone who is that discouraging and also, uh, in some cases, rude. That's what's disturbing. Like, okay, yeah. fine. Tell me that. Of course, I'm Filipina. I'm I'm a female where you can't exactly categorize my age. That's fact. But. Don't go into my personal life, you know, don't tell me this and that when you apparently thought I had talent because if you didn't, then you wouldn't have approached me, right? So that's why. Well, welcome to the weird world of Yeah, theater. definitely. Um, uh, hopefully you'll have more positive responses and you've got two other agents. Definitely call them, yeah. Um, and uh, if these people were to call you, I think uh, you at least know what you'd say. To them. I won't go in so naive and so I, it definitely was an experience. I'm definitely disappointed, but I hope that there will be other agents that will be interested in me. And from what I can showcase with the musical, for example, they can see what I can do and what I can offer. And hopefully I won't be treated the way I was. There aren't many lead roles. I don't know what the odds are of getting one.
uh, Crystal Martinez. Hi. Our panel is Happy Nights, Kevin Hicks, and Steve Young. You do a lot of questioning and you discover things that maybe you didn't really want to know about yourself. I definitely discovered a lot of good things, you know, how strong I, I am because I know that this business is tough, it's not easy. There will be people out there who are not always going to like you. If you had fallen apart, it would have killed you, but you kept going and it was good. You did fine, you did fine. <laughs> Your singing was good. But you have to be ready, you know, people will, you know, put you down. People will not like your work. And I guess in school, it kind of toughens you up. <laughs> because at the beginning, if I had dropped out of first year and went out there right away, I probably would have been cut down fast. But now I'm, I guess, stronger in a sense. I know a lot about myself and I know what I'm capable of doing. So this is the journal that I kept like four years ago before I went to Randolph. Okay, May 5th, 1997. My audition for Randolph School for the Performing Arts is this coming Saturday. So my first goal, <laughs> my first goal is to get in Randolph School of the Arts. I will, and I underline it, <laughs> I go to Randolph School of the Arts. So I basically convince myself. I'm coming to the end of school. My search for an agent isn't over. In the weeks ahead, I'll have another chance. <laughs>